A warning tonight to boat owners in the metro area. A Fargo woman posted to the neighborhood site next door about a thief entering her yard, clipping the battery wire in her boat and then taking off with her battery. She's sharing her story with our Valley News team's Joseph Ojo to make sure other boat owners are aware and to give neighbors a heads up on the importance of covering your boat. Someone had come into the yard and removed the tarp on our boat and clipped our battery, took that, and they were pretty sneaky about it because they put everything back the exact way that we had had it. It's the new theft hitting the Fargo area. The clipping of batteries from boats parked near homes and then individuals taking them into recycling centers to score some cash. It's unfortunate that people have to stoop to that level. It's, it's concerning. It's sad that we have to worry. They can make anywhere from 15 cents a pound to whatever a recycling center is willing to pay. After Stacy Erickson of Fargo noticed her $120 battery was gone from her boat, she made it her mission to inform her fellow neighbors. One resident posting underneath Erickson's post on next door that his boat battery was recently stolen as well. It felt violating, of course, and, um, you know, a little disturbing being that my bedroom was right here and that someone was right next to me stealing my private property. We checked out several neighborhoods in our area, and while passing along the street, you can see many sites of boats uncovered parked along streets and driveways. One boat owner we caught up with stresses always securing your boat, and while neighbors can keep an eye out on your property, he recommends using the toughest tarps on your boat and locking all compartments. I mean, when you hear the... It's, you know, it's a loud click, which I would, like I said, my bedroom window's right above it. I would hear that, you know, if it, if it, uh, someone was messing with it. Let's keep a better lookout, you know, watch our property. We can't, you know, leave it unattended, unfortunately. For Erickson, while the death of the boat battery is unfortunate, she tells us that she is happy to share her story so that others can be alerted before the criminals strike again. This has also prompted us to look at security cameras, um, as well to help prevent any future thefts. In Fargo, Joseph Ojo, Valley News Live. Ferrari from Ken Sanitation and Recycling says, if you think your property was stolen for scrap, you can register it. So scrap recycling companies are aware they may be getting stolen materials. We have a link to that site posted on our website, valleynewslive.com.